At this time, it's my privilege to introduce our friend, the governor of the state of Wisconsin, Scott Walker. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving Wisconsin forward with bold vision and bright hope for the future. Two years ago, when I first stood here as your new governor, Wisconsin was facing a $3.6 billion budget deficit. Property taxes had gone up 27 percent over the previous decade, increasing every year, and the unemployment rate was 7.8 percent. Today, Wisconsin has a $342 million budget surplus. Property taxes on a median-valued home went down in each of the last two years, and the unemployment rate, well, it's down to 6.7 percent. The introduction of my proposed budget next month, I will lay out a clear plan for reducing the burden on hardworking families by lowering income taxes on the middle class. We need to focus on the middle class. We need to improve the condition of middle class workers that have been hurt so badly over the course of the past couple of years. Uh, middle class families deserve hope and security. Um, we must help those families that are struggling with unemployment, underemployment, declining, declining wages, and quality of life. They deserve hope, assurance, and real action, and we'll offer packages, as we did last session, for attempting to deal with all of those issues. And we hope the governor is true to his campaign promise that he had when he was going to retain his seat, and we hope Republicans will be true to their campaign promise to work together on a bipartisan basis to make this a reality. One of the best ways we can show the people of Wisconsin that their state government is focused on jobs is to pass a bill that streamlines the process for safe and environmentally sound mining. Start with the legislation that was approved in the Joint Finance Committee last session. Include some reasonable modifications and send me a bill to sign into law early this year. We have the potential for a billion and a half dollar investment here in our state that could lead to as many as 3,000 construction related jobs and 2,800 long term jobs. If there's any state that can move forward with a way to streamline the process for safe and environmentally sound mining, shouldn't it be the Badger State? And I think the biggest thing that he trotted out um, that was unfortunate is talking about uh, a mine where even the WMC, which is the, the one who's pushing this, has said that we will not see the jobs he's promising for at least seven years, um, even under the best case scenario. Um, and uh, those would be 700 jobs total. Now, part of the long-term strategy to develop our workforce is to continue to transform education in our state. The reforms we enacted over the past two years saved school districts hundreds of millions of dollars and allowed each district to hire based on merit and pay based on performance. We now can put the best and the brightest in our classrooms, and we can pay them to stay there. We finally have a way to recognize our exceptional teachers and reward them for the good work they do with our children. Every child should have access to great, edu great education. We continue to expand the number of choices for families in Wisconsin, be it at a traditional, a charter, a voucher, a virtual, or a homeschool environment. Moving forward, we want to continue to dramatically improve existing schools and give parents the opportunity to choose legitimate alternatives to failing schools. Overall, if you look at the, the, the speech and the way that the governor uh, set it out, it was high on, the, uh, high on theatrics, uh, but low on substance. Um, we saw a, a lot of, of, of fluff, but we didn't see the details of what's going to actually come from it. 